H165. And it's a little small down there, a little dark. Gonna write bigger for you. One, six, five. This is the page that we're on in your robot and turtle book. Make sure that you have your book out and that you're on this page. If not, pause the video and then hit play whenever you're ready. Uh, today we're on lesson 4-2 and we're still working on subtraction. But today we're going to be using 10 frames to help us, uh, help us do that. So first I will show you guys how they would like us to use 10 frames and then I'm going to show you my way of using 10 frames because um, between you and me I think these people are a bit bananas for thinking we need to do a whole bunch of extra work and you'll see exactly what I mean in a minute okay so uh, if you have two color crayons you can use them for this actually no just one crayon really yeah just one crayon so if you have a crayon with you go ahead and use it if not it's not a big deal don't worry about it make sure I just have the, uh, I don't want that one and that's a little bit better. Okay, so I have my pencil ready. I hope you have yours ready too. So it says, how can thinking about 10 help you find 11 minus 7? Now, 11 minus 7 is our subtraction sentence that we're working with. When we want to use a 10 frame to make a subtraction sentence, first thing we need to do is look at our big number, which is 11. And then we need to make 11 circles in our 10 frames. So let's do that part together, okay? Let's start at the top and just make a circle. You can fill it in or just leave it open like that. Not a big deal, either one. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now we stop because we made eleven circles in our ten frames. All right, and we make sure that we continue into the second ten frame down here because they actually give us a second ten frame, not like in the last unit where we were just drawing them underneath. We have a whole second ten frame, so we will use it. Okay, so what they want us to do is first, now you're got, you, you guys are going to think I'm crazy for, for what I'm going to do. Okay, so first we have 11 minus 7, right? Of course we do. If we take one away, now what do we have? Well, we have 10 left, so our big number is 10, minus... We already took one of the way from seven, so now we have six. And now they want us to find this answer, okay? So we went from 11 minus seven to 10 minus six. And we're just gonna cross out six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, you can see that if we compare it to the original number sentence, we still crossed out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know it, it looks really weird, but uh, trust me, we did get the correct answer. Now, this is what they want us to do, is to take however many away we need to from the bottom 10 frame and make a whole new sentence with 10. Personally, I absolutely hate this idea. It doesn't make sense to me. I think these people are crazy. We're going to trash it. Okay? But I just I want to show you real quick. So that way no one can say I never showed you. Okay? We're going to just trash that idea. I don't like it at all. It's confusing. It's craziness. Let's, let's do something that makes sense. If we're going to use a 10 frame. If I ever give you guys a 10 frame. And say solve 11 minus 7. I will never expect you to make a whole nother subtraction sentence with the number 10. That It's bananas. Sorry, had to say that. It's bananas. Instead, we can still draw those 11, right? We have 11. And then 
instead of making a whole nother sentence, we're just going to fully cross out the seven. So one, two, three, four, ooh, five, six, and seven. And we're still going to get the correct answer, which is one, two, three, we have four left. So we can say that 11 minus 7 equals 4. This is all I'm going to expect you guys to do using 10 frames. Just solve it as is. Do not worry about making a whole nother subtraction sentence. Okay? Um, and we're going to do a couple practice ones together in case that whole making 10 stuff threw you off a little bit. So, so don't worry. We're going to work on this together. So let's go ahead and turn to page 166, and we're just going to do some practice. Okay, guys, here is page 166. Now, I'm going to go through number one for you, just to show you what I'm expecting. Not exactly what they're expecting from this whole lesson, which I, I think is just a little bananas, like I said before. But... Um, so you see where it says like 16 minus 6 equals 10, then 10 minus 1 equals 9. Okay, uh, you can take those two parts and scribble them out. It is, in my opinion, it's nonsense. It is confusing. It's nonsense. Scribble that stuff out. Gone. Now this looks much more friendly <laughs> to any mathematician. So all we're going to do for these problems because especially on the next page you'll see that they're not going to have you do all this stuff it's kind of crazy so all i'm going to expect you guys to do is if you get a problem such as 16 minus 7 you are going to have your 16 red counters they did that part for us already how super nice of them they're just swell and all you're going to do is take away how many we have our total right which is 16 and we have our takeaway number. So all we're going to do is cross out that many red counters starting from the bottom and working our way up. So one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven. After you cross out seven, you stop and you just count the counters that are left. How super easy is that? Pretty easy, right? Yeah, way easier than this making 10 uh, nonsense over there. Um, so we're just going to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 16 minus 7 is 9. Look how, look how much easier that is. Oh, any stress or anxiety you had, I'm sure, is now gone. And the lesson is going to be much more fun. And just like we did over here, we're going to take these uh, first two, right? These first two number sentences, and we're just going to scribble them out. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Scribble, 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 scribble. Oh. All right, get rid of that stuff. Get rid of it. It's, it's, it's nonsense. As long as you guys can subtract two numbers, I will be super happy. Okay, so right now we are going to focus on 13 minus 8. So we have our 13 red counters, and we need to take away 8. So go ahead and solve this one on your own. Cross out the counters that you need to cross out to find the answer. I'll give you guys a quick moment while I sip on a, uh, a bottle of water. All right, you guys still working on it? Kind of done already. All right, if you're still working on it, no biggie. Make sure you pause the video and finish up the subtraction problem on your own. But if you're all done, well, we're just going to check your work, okay? So we have our 13 red circles, and we need to take away 8, so I'm just going to cross out 8. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I stop and count what's left. And if uh, you're really good with any math tricks, you know that as soon as we see the top row filled and there's nothing missing, we already have five. 
So 13 minus 8 is 5. I mean, if it makes you feel better, you can always go back and count them. But if uh, you just kind of can eyeball that the whole first row is filled, and we know that you need two sets of 5 to make a 10, you'll be in good shape. Okay, but if you did not get 13 minus 8 equals 5, if 5 is not your answer, definitely check your work, see where you might have made a mistake. Okay, let's do just one more practice one together because I'm sure you're probably thinking, this is so easy. And it kind of is since we have these awesome 10 frames in front of us. Let's go to page 167 and just do one more. All right, everyone, here is page 167. You should have be looking at the same thing in your Robot Turtle book that you have. And now, let's look at number three. I want you to try this one completely on your own. We have 12, right? We have 12 red dots in our 10 frames minus 4. Okay, so go ahead and solve this one on your own. 12 minus 4, all we're doing is crossing out the correct number of counters, and then whatever you have left is your answer. Give you guys a quick moment. All right, if you're not done, pause the video, take your time. But if you are done, let's check it out together. So we have 12 minus 4, so we need to cross out four red counters. And we start by going backwards. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. I stop because I crossed out 4, and I count how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 12 minus 4 is eight that's it go ahead and do that for uh four through eight and then i want you to go ahead and try number nine on your own you have to make the counters yourself and then cross out the correct number okay so go ahead and do the entire page on your own um i'm not going to collect this instead i'm going to have an ixl assignment ready for you guys uh, so just go into the ixl link and then log in and see if you can get 100 percent all right. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But just please don't be uh, disruptive if I'm working with other friends still. Okay. Be respectful and kind. And that's it. So uh, hopefully this helped. Hopefully you guys think this is nice and easy and that I didn't break your brain or nothing. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.